episode nine. Welcome. What a episode. My God. Uh, yes. Right. Spoilers. This is a spoiler field. episode. Really? Because really they already started, like, you know, the main eight episodes beforehand. Yep. <laughs> However, if you got this far, you were like, why are there spoilers? This is the spoiler warning. Uh, anyway, episode nine. Fuck, they made Wanda's costume look sick. Yeah. I'm generally, I'm generally impressed that they managed to make that costume look cool. It's Marvel. You know, they're, they're good at it. They're good at doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. What do you think so far of like the episode? Did you enjoy it? I was just disappointed it wasn't Ultron. I really wanted it to be Ultron's voice. Yeah, it was Paul Bettany versus Paul Bettany. Although like it did fu- have a... I, I thought it had a hint of Ultron. Like, kind of tone to it. Because of the roboticness to it. Maybe. Maybe they just put him in the fucking Google search bar things cast list just to throw people off. Uh, probably. It wouldn't be surprised me. Um, also, it looks like the cameo was Paul Bettany. Yeah, I think he confirmed it as well. Yeah, the cameo was himself. <laughs> I was like, what do you think of that? What, what do you think of the boat um, conversation? Where if you're like, if a boat rus- uh, rots and then you replace parts of the boat and then, because I've heard that before and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I've heard, like the, how they just... I've heard the um, the broom version. Like if you keep replacing the head and the handle multiple times, is it the same broom? Yeah, I've heard that boat one because it's like one of those philosoph- philosophical questions that they uh, ask you whenever you're just like, but I liked how that solved itself, and he just gave it all. The... So that's the thing. We don't see what happens to that guy after he flies off. He just goes. Well, he's Vision. He says, I am Vision. So he yeah. is Vision, but just... But in the comics, he, just... he doesn't have a, a kind of like emotional emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he's now got the memories back, sort of. He's probably been really good. He's just not got any emotion. Well, yeah. But we don't know what happens afterwards. But yeah, so it starts off with uh, Wanda and Agnes having a little bit of a batting. And then, uh, as we said before, Vision, old whitey boy Vision, comes in and starts crushing her skull, I guess. Like, yeah, have a was moment like, that was mad. Like, I was like, that really <laughs> Game of Thrones I knew it was coming as soon as he put like walked up to her and then put it... Put it oh, yeah, yeah. Head. As soon as I saw that, I was like, I know it's about to happen. Yeah. Uh, and then real... Well, not real Vision. Uh, uh, Wanda's Vision. Actual fake Vision. Yeah, uh, mind vision comes yeah, in and actually has physical tangibility against real vision and still has the same power, so that's kind of cool. I don't think he'd be able to fight. May I also but point he... out that uh, the, the, everyone was right about the Darkhold? Yeah, 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 you and your Darkhold. Just didn't look like the one from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have the, the budget that Disney Plus has. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... But then uh, we see that Monica Rambeau is still trapped in the building with not Quicksilver. What's his Ralph. name? Ralph Boner. Yeah, apparently. Ralph Boner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that was. But the fact is, still has speed. Do you reckon that was Agnes' speed? Do you reckon it actually has speed? I think that was the collar thing that was on him because he's wearing like some dude bro necklace and it's just kind of like pearls and shit. Um, I'm not gonna edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna edit out oh. Dylan's Dan's dog. <laughs> so if if you're annoyed by Dan's dog, I'm sorry, but I want to get this out as soon as possible. Yeah, it's kind of rushed. Like, we are recording on the same day. It's been released, so. Yep, and it's gonna be late. So <laughs> sorry, everyone. Once again, um, issues. <laughs> uh, then we get Jimmy Woo getting rocked up on with uh old matey boy from Sword, who's the chief. And then he's like, ah, oh, what you doing? And grabs the dude's phone and then steals that and does a magic trick to get the cuffs off, like picks the lock. Yeah, it's like, good, you know, good old uh, uh, Paul Rudd. Yeah, his it? magic What's his name? Are... Scott, Scott Lang. There we go. Scott. It is Paul Rudd. But... It is yeah. Paul Rudd as well. Do you know, when he and said then... Quantum, I really thought it's going to be Ant-Man coming. Yeah, I really thought someone, I thought, um, he said Cliff and I thought Cliff Barton. Hawkeye's gonna come in to <laughs> save the day. Why? Why would Why would Hawkeye come in to save? The Instead day? it was just a scroll. I was like, okay, great. Well, I don't even think it's a scroll. I don't even think the scroll was the person. I think the scroll just took over the person who was meant to be there. Ah. Maybe. Yeah, who knows? It would be interesting because I don't think Jimmy would know that it's a scroll. Oh yeah, scrolls. Uh, end credit scene. Monica Rambeau, or yeah, Monica Rambeau, uh, gets taken away, and then uh, a scroll lady changes in front of her and says, "An old friend." of your mother's wanted to said you're grounded and then wanted to uh get you on board and then um 
points to the sky, so we know where Nick Fury is up to. Yeah, and this is either going to be the Nick Fury TV show or it's going to be Captain Marvel well, Nick- 2. Well, I think the Nick Fury TV show is Secret Invasion. So, And I think she is in Captain Marvel 2, so it's going to probably be a combination of both. Yeah, whichever one's going to happen is going to set the other one. <laughs> yeah, and then... Oh, we're just jumping around now. Uh, Wanda's walking around the streets, and then Agnes undoes the mind thing that all of the citizens are under. That was a bit creepy. And then all the citizens are like, what the fuck are you doing, Wanda? Why are you trapping us here? We haven't been eating. We haven't been sleeping. We haven't been able to hold our kids. They say the line, "Just let if you can keep doing this to us, just let us die. Yeah, and then she, um, she kind of panics and then chokes everyone with like some red... Yeah, it's like the... cause it, she she doesn't have she doesn't control her own powers. Yeah, which we'll get to at the end credit end credit because there's two end credit scenes. Really, um, actual Marvel ones. <laughs> yeah, and then um, well she the Agnes and her are fighting because they're like, hey, what up? I want your powers basically because you don't know how to control them, but I do, because I'm a bitch who's read a book called The Darkhold. <laughs> And then basically explains how she's able to kind of combat Wanda, basically, whilst Vision and everything. I'm not editing them out. <laughs> I'm not editing oh, them out. It's just that day, isn't it? It's just not. <laughs> and then, um, and then uh, we get Vision, laser beaming Vision. And then uh, Wanda's like, oh, crap, I've got to close the, the hex and starts closing it. And then Vision and her kids start disintegrating because they're figments of the reality of one yeah that's like the, the hex spell where one of it's called but and then we get um and then agnes is like yeah well if you want to save your kids you got to kind of keep the thing open and then then old matey boy white vision comes back into the fight because um oh yeah did you get the um Bit where Wanda throws the ha- uh, car at her, and then it's oh, the... Witches of Odd. Yeah, Wizard of Odd. That's the one. Like... No, witches. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard witches. They're all the same. Yeah. Um, and then she throws the car at her, and she crashes into the house, and then it pans down. And it's just her boots. Here's a good that question: nice... Which wiz- which witch was that in Wizard of Oz? You got the crushed. Good one. What was the name? I don't know the West one. It was the East. The the Wicked Witch of the West was the sister, and was like the main enemy. The Wicked Witch of the East was her sister, or crushed by the bus. Well, everyone seemed to like it, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting fact, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, white. Well, we get White Vision coming back into the fight to fight normal Mind Vision, and then the kids are left to fight the army because Wanda goes, "Well, kids, I'll let you fight the army," and then you know. We're gonna have old uh, a fight up in the sky, and then the kids are left, and then Hayward just straight up tries to shoot kids. <laughs> of course he does, because he's a prick. But then, uh, but uh, Monica Rambo shows up and gets shot, but her powers are she can absorb energy, I guess. So I'm assuming she keeps her powers now. It's not. So it was a form by imagine, the hex, but it's like I, I'd imagine so. Because change her DNA. Because she, she's got a physical reaction, and she's not part of the world so she can leave it and still probably maintain the powers people have speculated if darcy gets powers but she's only gone through it once so probably probably not because she because she went through it once then got shot out of it then went back in and so she got it three times so maybe if you go through it three times you'll get powers permanently yeah. but it's gone now yeah uh, and then we get the vision talking about boats and whatnot and <laughs> giving giving vision back vision it was it was definitely a vision talk to vision <laughs> i quite like that though because i was like yeah, oh, yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of bored of them cgiing fighting in the sky and some of the cgi was a bit clunky in places like the flying stuff was a bit weird monkey i just have but a I bit liked... of a problem about white vision uh, it just feels kind of almost pointless to the whole story yeah, it just feels like his only purpose was to fight Vision at the end. Like that. Was I think it was it. just a way to get a Vision back into the real world. Yeah, that too. Like, but they just like, to Wonder Vision, bit... it feels a bit pointless. Yeah, it's a bit forced, but that's all Marvel stuff. There's always a forced thing that they kind of want to reset, but then come back to. 
So this is Vision, but without emotion, but kind of now has emotion again. No, he still doesn't have emotion. It, 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 that was Vision it, without memories, and that well, was oh, Vision yeah, with yeah, memories, yeah, yeah. but still without emotion. In the comics, anyway. Yeah. Which I and then like the same. Uh, Wanda teleported invisible in front of her and then goes up and does the uh, end game. No, uh, Ultron uh, mind thing where she gets a vision where she like implants the thing into Tony Stark and then shows him his worst fear and then it's Agatha's worst fear. Yeah, and then Ag- I thought and then it was Ag- cool. And then it's kind of like Agatha's tied to the tree and like her pe- family's dead or something around. And then she's um. She then turns it back on Wanda, so it's like, oh, you don't know how to control this. I do, so I flip it back on you. And then it's like you're the Scarlet Witch, and you don't deserve. And then you get the sort of formation of her crown, like tiara thing, like like red. And then it's like I I don't have to answer to you. And then she's like, okay, I'm just gonna fucking bash you in the fucking face with all my laser beams or oh, laser balls and then she's just like why the fuck not uh and then she kind of she's kind of tricking agatha because she's got um she's shooting the because in the previous episode wanda gets stopped by hexes that she's like hexes that you know like stop wanda's powers and only the witch that controlled the, um, it's runes, by the way. Fuck off. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Who runes? Heck. Whatever I said. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Not hexes. Too many hexes already in this game. <laughs> hexes ruins. I mean, so yeah, ru- TV show, runes. But... Someone I know someone who pronounces it ruins. They're wrong. The... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but um, she uh, it's like uh, only the witch who um controls the runes is the one who can still cast magic and then she's like oh okay and then just uses that against her in this because she's just throwing her spells at her hex around it in a contained area and yeah like, i mean well it's... i own this that's quite cool I, I did enjoy that kind of reveal although that's another event that was a bit forced i felt yeah I, f- I think they set it up in the last episode though it's like oh i trapped you in this and wanda's learnt from it it's kind of that use your enemies spell against them sort of thing. Yeah, own. but it's pretty obvious that's what they were gonna do when they had their uh, I didn't I on. didn't I didn't see it coming out. Did you like, not? Oh, like, previously on they had like that's that one scene of oh when a witch does this, then this. Oh, uh, I wasn't really I was too involved on just seeing her just slowly melt away and go old. And I I was I was like, oh she's losing her powers, she's getting them because uh Agatha's just like sucking in the powers and holding on to them. And then um then we get the fucking full reveal of the Scarlet Witch costume. Fucking badass, man. I love that costume. Uh, design. It looks cool. Like, what else do you want from it? That costume design looks really dumb in the comics and stuff, because it's, like, overly sexualized. And then this is just like, ah, it looks pretty fucking badass. It looks very cool. I do like it. They did a very good, well design on this. I, I, I like this. I really like the uh, Age of Ultron costume. Oh, uh, no. Which one? Civil War costume. Yeah, that's good as well. I think, the Civil the, War I think it's my favorite one, though. I like this one a lot more, though. And now she I is the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Or uh, is she? Because, well, oh, we'll yeah. get to it. Um, But yeah, she then basically traps Agatha, gets Agatha's powers. I thought it was Did a good way of doing it. I like that. Yeah. Does she get Agatha's powers? Yes. Yeah. And then Agatha's depowered, basically, and then she just traps Agatha in the reality of being stuck as the nosy neighbor. Yeah, that kind of like mind powers cast... in it. It's like, yeah. you know, it changes the mind and then changes the outfits, which apparently she can do now, to anybody. Oh, yeah, fuck, we forgot Darcy um, rams a car into Hayward's Oh, vehicle. I completely forgot Darcy was in the show until that happened. I was like, oh, yeah, Darcy's still in the show. Yeah, kind of finally ran over those kids, I guess. Yeah. Just to get, <laughs> just to get there. Um... But yeah, I was just like, oh, that's cool. Uh, Darcy gets one final thing before she's never mentioned again in the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, it, man. never come back. And then Wanda and Vision and her kids walk off home. 
because she's the hex is slowly closing in around because she's she basically yeah. had to decide whether or not to close the hex or let the people inside the hex who were trapped go, and so she's basically going, ah oh, fuck, I have to let everyone go. It's all quite it's emotional, like, really. Yeah, and then it's slowly closing in, and then they put their kids to bed, and then it's like ah oh, fuck, that's sad, and then one last look at Wanda as she's in the light, I guess. Yeah, that was a cool moment. And then, you know, Wanda and Vision have a, have a moment together. They kiss together and then he fades out of existence. As well. Also, I think it's revealed that the last of the Mind Stone that was in her created Vision in this reality. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, it had to be. It was pretty obvious. Yeah. So that's, I guess, the last of the Mind Stone because it gets taken away. And I don't then, know. Um... Might, she, might just, she might still have it. Like She still has the Mind Stone in her. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's all just been replaced with the uh, Scarlet Witch. Maybe. Maybe the, my, maybe the Mind Stone is gone, gone. It's all or maybe a part of it. And then uh, the bubble closes around and Vision's gone, the kids are gone. And then she's walking through the streets and everyone who was in the town is like, I don't like you because you trapped us in here for ages. And then Monica's like, eh, they'll never know what you sacrificed for them. And then she's like, "If I could, I, if I had your powers, I would." Which is get, true, to be honest. Money. Like, if you're yeah, when you lose someone like like that, do you, you would do anything to get him back? Yeah, and then um, she flies away in a Scarlet Witch costume, and then that's it. Yeah, I was a bit of a abrupt ending, to be honest. I I thought it was pretty. Un- I thought she was gonna go because she's saying she's gonna learn how to control her powers and whatnot. So I thought one of the end credit scenes would be her. Going to Doctor Strange. I kind of think it's going to happen now, though. Now that I've seen that end credit scene, let's talk about it. Yep. Uh, so we did. We talked about the uh, first end credit scene with Monica Rambeau and how she's it's setting up in Secret Invasion or Mon- uh, Captain Marvel Two or whatever, where it's the scroll. Uh, one random agent just walks up to Monica and goes, "Hey, look, it's the scroll." And then she's like, "Well, okay, cool, that's set up." But then the end credit end credit is uh, zooms in on a hut. Like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And it's Wanda sitting there drinking a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever. Initially, Look, I just... thought it was going to be like something to do with Captain, like Falcon Winter Soldier. Fact, you, ha- you haven't seen the Hulk. So there's a. No. Like, true. It's like there's a cabin in like the first Hulk where Bruce Banner's held up and it's like he's trying to be calm and whatnot. To be and, fair, um... that's reference in Angel Shield anyway, because I do know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought that would be the cabin. Yeah, because it's so, just in the middle of cool. nowhere and it's like super padded. But I don't know if it is because I, I I don't remember the cabin. But then it it's revealed that whilst there's a scar there's a Wanda just walking around, a Scarlet Witch is in the other room reading the Darkhold. The question is, and is that then, two different people or the same person? <laughs> well, that someone I I quickly saw this before this episode. Um, someone said. The same thing Doctor Strange does, where he's astral projecting his body whilst he's sleeping, and then ah, he can yeah, read. yeah, that's true. So maybe that. Um, but then you, it's a quick moment, and it's her kids start yelling out to her, saying "Mom," with, and then it just she goes, "Oh shit!" and then closes, and then so her kids may be still alive. Well, I Who think knows? this is definitely going to be a leading, and I think this is how it's going to work. Is that she's going to try to create another way of getting the kids back? Which would be then yeah. old, opening up the multiverse. She might piss off Doctor Strange because he start messing with the fabric of that, and then it's Doctor Strange maybe trying to because it, it's also mentioned by Agatha that she has more power than the Sorcerer Supreme, which is Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, S- Wait, is it? S- oh yeah, it is now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's the Sorcerer Supreme because the Ancient One died and she was the Sorcerer Supreme. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so and then he's he, now the Sorcerer and then Supreme. he took up the mantle. And then Baron uh, Mordo is going over and killing all the other sorcerers, so it's kind of just a title by proxy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be now, doesn't it? No one else left. Yeah. But overall, a fucking great series. Oh, definitely. Uh, I don't know if there will be a second series. Nah, they're going to do movies. Also, you wouldn't be able to call it WandaVision unless you do the same premise, and that would be kind no. of weird. I, but um, the Marvel shows are a bit different to the, the Star Wars ones. So the Star yeah. Wars ones are kind of their own thing in their own universe. Whereas Kevin Feige said the Marvel ones are all about setting up the movies and the movie yeah. set up the TV shows. 
And if it's as all if the Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki are all as good as this, yeah, bring them on. I'm, uh, I'm I mean, happy to. I'm I'm happy to sit here and watch them. Apparently, Falcon Winter Soldier is uh, actually got more hype than One Division at the minute. Wow, I'd I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope so because, uh, yeah. But I'm just uh, scrolling through just to see if there's anything else. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, overall series. I think we should do a little wrap up of what we thought of the overall series. Um, the overall series starts off on a bit of a rocky foot just because it's 1950s television. 1950s. Oh, I liked it straight away, but I'm a weird one. I, know I, I'm weird I liked one. I liked them, but I did I did think they were like bad just because of the premise of like 19. And I know a lot of other people agreed that it was kind of like. Why is it 1950s and 60s television? And it's like hard to sell people on the first few episodes. You yeah, it's get... like, whoa. Once, once episode three or four kicks off, then you kind of, it picks up. But once you see episode eight, it pays off. Yeah, I'd say episode five, because you're like, why the fuck's Quicksilver here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like episode eight is like, you understand like why, you vision, yeah, why she's done with ep- this. And... Yeah, but I think episode five is the one that, entices you to continue going oh wait what why what how and then yeah. it doesn't really pay off because it's not quicksilver <laughs> but i mean they could still retcon that if they wanted to i mean they might do it it depends on the speed thing like i said like maybe he is a mutant maybe i still think they're setting up um a dark phoenix storyline with wanda but that without the Dark Phoenix, but the Scarlet Witch is the alternative to the Dark Phoenix. I mean, it's possible because because it ends on a sour note for Wanda. It's Wanda isolating herself. Why do you think the creation of the X, like she could, she's been villainized by Haywood and like her actions? She see, sort of teeters on the edge of being a bad person. I mean, maybe. It's, so I reckon they're trying to set up a Dark Phoenix just to prove to Fox that they could do it without even having the character. <laughs> That'd be because quite funny. <laughs> because what they've what what they've done is they've put the back the back work in like all of the actual like setup and stuff to create like an interesting arc, which the Fox films always just went ah we'll do it in one episode that's fine one 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 movie that's all we need. Actually, to give that Marvel credit, they have really made me like Wanda as a character now. Yeah, yeah like, Elizabeth that. Olsen fucking acting her ass off right now. <laughs> like, it's 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 insane the different, char- like, mood she has to do. And, like, in the one where she's, like, like the last episode, she's, like, doing so much stuff. It's just insane. I really like her. She's really good. I just yeah. kind of wish I could see uh, Paul Bettany again. <laughs> well, Hopefully. there is a vision around. That's so. true, but he's not going to be as witty as... Well, you never know. Never she know. Might, you, they might, fi- he might finally find his sense of humor and he come might not back be white. and get choleric. Can... Wait, why is he white anyway? Because <laughs> he doesn't have four to look at and steal his cape designs. I was gonna say because, like, even like Richard died, he wasn't white. <laughs> I think it's just because of the comics, and it's just yeah. like. Vision's vibrant and colourful, and then you have what's the opposite of that? Just white. And I don't think they could put Paul Bettany in blackface. So. No. You yeah. know. I mean, yeah, we're going to see. Um, that was a great series, and I look forward to doing uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. And yeah, we'll we'll do a, maybe something a bit different. We might actually have the episodes coming out as they release and then wrap up. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.